Proviz is a tool to help developers diagnose performance problems in complex software. Proviz works on profiling trees, which are a special kind of call trees that contain additional information about how much CPU or memory has been spent during a program's execution. What we see here is a toy example of a profiling tree. The size of the nodes correspond to how much CPU time was spent executing this particular node, and the color corresponds to the structure of the program, so which class or package this method belongs to. In particular, we can see that the program has spent all of its execution time executing the main method, and that this time is inclusive of any invocation that the main method might have done itself, for example, here into the brief uh, method. That kind of call tree can grow much larger on concrete software, and to help developers navigate these call trees, Profviz exploits the structural information that is contained in package and class names. For example, here we've got one method main from the class whale that is calling another method brief in the class mammal. But we could as well decide that uh, this is the same as saying that the class whale is calling the class mammal and remove the information about methods. We could go one level further by saying that what we're seeing here is some activity that is internal to the lib1 package and we could just compact it uh, just completely. We could do the same in the lib2 package by removing information about which particular method the learn class is using or um, which particular methods the muscle class is using, compacting the muscle class further and compacting the lib2 package completely. Then what we see is that lib1 package is invoking the lib2 package. And if we do the same for lib3, we reach a point where the graph is fully compacted. What we have here is slightly different from what we started with. For one, we have far less detail. But we also quite clearly see the structure of the program, which is good if you have a program you don't know much about, or that is quite complex. And starting from this fully compacted version, a developer can decide to focus selectively on any part of the execution that is most relevant to his understanding. For instance, he or she could decide to look into the lib2 package and expand it to the level of classes, and could then decide to see what exactly nerve is doing into lib3, and discover that actually the class nerve is using the travel method of lib3. So now if we look at a slightly more complex example, uh, here's a profiling to obtain on a real uh, program that is uh, simulating a peer-to-peer -peer system. And we see that all of the execution time is spent in the main um, simulator class, uh, that a good chunk of it is actually spent executing method from the standard Java library. If we expand the standard library, we discover that most of them, actually all of them, uh, belong to the util package and that an important part of the execution time is spent uh, working with linked list um, objects, 40% of the execution time. And more precisely, most of these uh, this activity correspond to contains operation, which are known to be quite inefficient on the linked list. So that would be a good idea to replace them, for example, with an array list, and similarly with get operations. Uh, now, if we want to know which part of the simulator we need to modify to um, improve the use of uh, uh, linked list by replacing that array list, we can expand this part of the program, and by doing that selectively, we'll discover that one part of the linked list, a good chunk, is actually uh, using the published method of the storage simulator class, and uh, that another one is used um, in the storage um, simulator package. But so here, eleven person. But but this part is kind of scattered between different methods, and that the best is just to replace um, every time linked list is appearing in this particular package. If we now backtrack to where we came from, uh, we can also see that there was in fact uh, a second phenomenon happening and that part of the
cost of the execution is spent in linked list, but also there is this part of the execution that is using clone, and this doesn't come from the linked list, but from the uh, sort operation of arrays. And it can be interesting to maybe try to change the structure of the program to avoid this. And again, we can then expand storage to try to find out where this uh, sort operation is happening, which is here, uh, and we'll discover that this is actually happening uh, in the um, sort map by value method of the exact repair redundancy packet.